Jesse, and T me, James the uh, Chili Junkie, here again. Hot on the tail of the British Komodo Dragon. We have here, I've just literally popped up to Tesco's now. We don't always get funky stuff around here, so it's good to see that they've come up this far. I thought I'd do a quick comparison to start with. These two on this side are ones that I've had in my freezer. This is a standard, although frozen, Butcherlockia, Naga, Ghost Pepper, call it what you will. And this one is a frozen Hab. Now, this one here came out of the Komodo packet, as you can see, very similar to the Naga. But this one also came out of the Komodo packet. Looks very happy to me. Just to prove it, there is one more in here. Now I managed to get three. You can see it's got that sort of typical <coughs> scotch bonnety, bell peppery sort of shape to it with all the ridges and things. Very similar. So this is a, a hab. And very different from the Naga looking ones. Me again, trying out a bit of selfie cam version. So, see this one? This is the fresh one. That one is the fairly frozen one. I'm going to chop open the frozen one and have a look inside. You can see there, a little placenta, some seeds, lovely, lovely standard naga. Let's have a look at the fresh one. Oops. Nice. Very similar. Very similar indeed, if I hold this up. Frozen one, fresh one, Komodo Dragon, Naga. Very, very similar. Okay. Also here we have yeah, a larger frozen hab. It's frosting very quickly actually. And there we are. That's inside frozen hab again different to the Komodo stroke Naga that we've got on the table. But, oh I know. Here we go. This is going to be again another Komodo dragon. This looks nothing like the other Komodo dragon in the packet. Few seeds, not a lot, lot, but there we go. Quite thicker walled as well, actually. Let's see if we can do a sort of side by side. So these are the two supposed Komodo dragons, side by side. Yeah, a little bit different to me. Um. So, sniff test, I suppose. Yeah, it's just about still get a sniff off of these ones. It's got that sort of zestiness to it. Still smell the heat. That's the frozen one. This is the Komodo. Again, it might be just because obviously this one's fresh, but it's a similar smell, but that one's got the more sort of tomatoey flavour to smell to it, but very similar smell as well. Let's try the uh, the odd shaped one. It's all smelling very similar to me, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, 
It's a bit odd that you get such different pods. I know obviously you've got cross contamination, but this is coming from a proper commercial grower. So he should know about separating them out and you know isolating the plants and things. So to get chilies very, very dissimilar in the same packet. Yeah, Komodo Dragon. Uh, super hot, you sparingly for an intense kick. Do not consume whole. Well, no, that's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. Do not consume whole. He even says it on the back and everything. We advise if cooking whole chili, remove from dish at end of cooking. If slicing, remove all seeds prior to cooking. Because here, yeah, that's where the heat's from, isn't it? The seeds. No. It's from this lovely little placenta around it, because that's what everybody knows. All this white stuff, that's the heat, the seeds just like rub against it. So, here goes. Mm hmm. It's quite a dry pot, a very thin wall. I must say, my tolerance is down masses. I've not eaten a pod since my last pod video. But it's very heavy in taste as well, actually. Hot hiccups again. I tend to only get hiccups from habs, so there's definitely some sort of hab in there. I don't think I'll be doing any more. Half of one is enough. Blimey. Sweating. That's getting really hot now. It's a good one. I'm trying to think. Quite very roof, the back of the throat, roof of the mouth. And a bit on the tip of the tongue. But not silly. I mean, it's silly, but not crazy. So yeah, that was the British Komodo Dragon. Try it.